And here's our mine tunnel. Unfortunately, barred off. What you think, doggies? <laughs> You know where we're going? Where are we going? We are heading off into the depths of the southern part of the Santa Rafael Swell to go explore all uranium mine sites. Don't even have any bikes with us, which is very strange. But we're just gonna go do some hiking and tramping around in the desert. And got about at least four, five, at least five, Potentially six mine sites we're gonna check out. And we're gonna camp out here, which will be fun. Yeah. yeah, off we go into the wild desert yonder. Here in Reds Canyon, we are at Lucky Strike mine site. So this is one of the bigger uranium mine sites out here. As usual, all these uranium sites are anywhere from like late 40s, clear up through the 70s or so when they were worked. So yeah, here we are at Lucky Strike. Got a handful of buildings here. Now this one here is pretty much completely intact. Another one right there, got a little dugout there. Got an old loadout right here. Or they would have rolled up wagons or carts up there and dumped into trucks. And there's another building up out of the way, up out of sight up there. That we'll see in a second. And then the mines are all up through up here. So yeah, there's your big load out. Or would have loaded trucks out of. Inside the cabin here, you've got like a sink, old sink, old stove. It's obviously this isn't too old. Like old linoleum flooring. <laughs> Look at that wallpaper. <laughs> Look at that wallpaper. Is this the dog house? Looks like a dog house. Remains of a refrigerator. Remains of another refrigerator. <laughs> Lucky Strike Mine, 1949 is when it was when it was officially staked. The claim, it's like up through about the 60s into the, maybe the early 70s, before it was abandoned. Cool how you can see like where they had the appliances, like where the fridge was. Mm-hmm. All the comforts of home in there. Definitely tell this is probably the newest cabin. This one's got a little bit more modern style siding and stuff on it. And this one has sheetrock. It's got drywall on it. Remains <laughs> of a mattress. That was <laughs> there's your shower. It's the top of our loading chute. This is the first time we've actually been to the Lucky Strike site, but we've overlooked it a few times. We're up on top of this cliff up here. You get there, you get to that from Links Flat as well. So again, check out that video if you haven't already. Right out to Links Flat last December, and you actually get on that overlook, looking down to this. That day it was super windy. The wind was just rifling up that cliff. Couldn't even hardly stand on the edge of it without just getting knocked over. There's the kind of stuff they would have been looking for. Not saying that actually has uranium in it, all that yellow sulfur. But that's very, very commonly associated with uranium, which is why you hear the term yellow cake uranium. And the yellow is not actually the uranium, that's the sulfur that's with it. Old hose, some kind of a water line. 
button that's maybe like a valve key or something or maybe a valve down in there in an underground pipe interesting here remains of an outhouse such stunning country with all these big cliffs so pretty such a cool old mining road who knows where we're going but we're following it Coming back down on the main mine site from up above. They're up on these roads that are cut around up on the cliff up above here. Here your old electrical wire or something runs over to that big rock over there. It's got some metal rods drilled into it with ceramic insulators on it. So I assume it must have been some kind of a power cable. Here's the other end of our power cable. We have metal rods with ceramic insulators. And down here is where your main activity was, is down on that level. I'm sure all the mine tunnels are all buried and blocked off. That's where all your main stuff would have been. I think all this, all these roads and stuff up here are all for exploration. That's old drill steel from like a jack leg. And some drill pipe casing, drill hole casing, exploration drill hole. I don't know if you find some of the actual mines, but as expected, Division of Oil, Gas, and Mining has been here and got them all blocked up. Nice and solid. Hook, you don't need to try and crawl in there. The remains of there loading chute here it could have dumped down into trucks below used to be another mine had it going in there all, just all filled up with dirt all these old roads they're walled off tunnel that's cool they left a little bit of the timbering in place show what that would look like before they closed her up <laughs> you know, a little bit of shade, huh? Another little dog hole. What you think, buddy? Pretty big waste dump there. Huh. Somebody broke down. Somebody broke down the wall. <laughs> and somebody knocked a chunk of wall out. Up in there, Ogre. You see anything? That's cool. I can wonder what's in there. How far back in there goes? Got like a little tunnel kind of unburied. Your power line. Like what it would like an old workbench or something here with some <laughs> cribbing stacked on it. All nailed together. This must have been where they taught the new miners how to crib. <laughs> I about guarantee there's another tunnel underneath that. <laughs> Pretty sweet old car out here. They've been shot a lot. I don't know why the heck people have to do that. People in their guns. Just silly. It'd be leveled out pad area mine tunnel right there another mine tunnel over there and one more up there oh, looks like another one buried right there that was a big tunnel big opening there another one that one would have been pretty big as well there's a lot of material they pull out of these holes, and that's just their waste. But you wonder just how extensive the workings underground are. Could be pretty big. Super cool old chute coming down from that mine tunnel up there above us. Here's our chute going down. And here's our mine tunnel. Unfortunately, barred off. 
Alright, I got crumbly ground in there. We've been some pretty sketchy stuff to work. It ain't very strong. As I said before, I know why doggone blocks these off, but at the same time, it is kind of a bummer. I think what you can see back in there. Same time, it'd be very dangerous and pretty stupid to go in there. I can see why they do it. Yep. Roll your wheelbarrow out and dump her right there and send her on down into the truck. <laughs> Gorgeous looking back over at the main mine site over there at the cabins. So awesome. These huge cliffs are just spectacular. We've left Lucky Strike, spent a few hours traipsing around there, checking that all out real thoroughly. Now we've driven just a little bit further down Reds Canyon. We're back up in a little side canyon again. And another mine site to see what's up here. So, yeah, see what this place has to offer. Remains of some old living quarters. Oh, we can look at all these cans. There's a lot of cans. Oh, yeah. How's a drive under one? <clears throat> yeah, how's a drive under or bin? A truck or something could have drove right underneath it. Dumped into. Some big old timbers. Looks like maybe two tunnels there. Remains of the old doors. See if I can do it. <laughs> Is anybody? Can you see anything? Twenty feet. <laughs> About it. Well, it's the only open tunnel we found, so. Some old mine road get along here. They maybe started to tunnel into there, but didn't go very far. Oh, this one's cool. Check this cool guy out. They put a culvert in this one. Left it open for, probably for bats, I'll bet. Yeah, the roof supports holding her up. Yeah, I'm guessing they left this one open for critters, bats, or something to use. <laughs> Old rock bolts. Super cool. They're a big old bin. A big bin slash chute. The old cables hanging down. Yeah, that's a big one. That could be old pulley. The yeah. old pulley. And the hook. Look at the old. Or shoots. But those probably would have been they could have raised that it's hinged right there underneath so they could have folded the end of it up to hold the ore in it and then flipped it down to let it dump out. Yeah, I think it's way cool. Definitely a little worse for wear, but it's cool. This guy, all walled up. Yeah, that's not natural, that's rocks been all cemented together to close her up. Cool, they left the old door and stuff though. What you think, doggies? <laughs> now, there's another one, that old buried, they put just a little culvert in that one for all the old local native residents to climb in and out of. I made it around up above that big chute. 
Maybe where they would have run their wheelbarrows or carts or whatever out onto the top of this and kicked them off into it. There's one guy here so I can look down into it. That looks cool. <laughs> All lined with metal sheeting so it was slick so the rock could slide through it. Here up above where those last two tunnels in the big bend were, there's a big shaft up here. No doubt connects to them underground. They've been covered with barring, but a pretty big old shaft. Got the old wood ladder and everything going down in it. That's cool. Straight down, as far as you can see, into the hole. <laughs> Hey, cool. So cool. Straight down the ladder. Climb up and down that and go to work, huh? The remains of some little wooden shed here on the top of this little knoll. We're down here by Tom Sick Butte. Our campsite. We got a rooftop tent. Gorgeous evening, get the sun lighting up the cliffs. It is beautiful. Time to get some dinner, have a good night, night's rest, and then we're gonna check out Tomsick Butte in the morning and then head over to Hidden Splendor and check that out as well. Keep on our journey through the uranium mines of this part of this well. Should be fun. See you guys in the morning. All right, now we've made it to Tomsick Butte the next morning. 1951, John Tomsick and W.J. Hannard. 450 people once lived here and even had a schoolhouse. How about that? First stop is the old dynamite storage bunker. Complete with a metal door with lock boxes on it. Keep people out. Hookie's gonna check it out for us. What's in there, buddy? I don't know if I'm going to fit with my backpack on. Barely. Might not fit back out, but we fit in. <laughs> the old shoot work coming down. Made out of barrels, cut in half. It's cheating for you little doggies just scurrying up the hillsides. You guys have it way too easy. <laughs> and we made her up. Tunnel looks like it didn't go very far. Oh, well, maybe went in further. That's been that's been walled off with cement. It did go in a little further. A nice big timber there. Another one there walled off. Another one. <laughs> You're looking down your chute. And according to that plaque, all these little mines here, these little tunnels are called woodpecker holes. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Right over there is where we camped. Another one. Whole string of little holes all along in here. A little bit old timbering underneath that big rock. I don't think that little timber is going to keep that from coming down. <laughs> Some old drill stills. More tunnels been blocked off. There's a bunch of little tunnels all along here. Probably been another set of shoot work going down right here too. Yeah, it's crazy how many there were. What's in there doggies? What's in there? Made it a hole? What's in there? You see? Look at that black hole, huh? Look at that black hole. <laughs> oh, well, walled up. And they left a little window in this one. Huh. Got all them timbers and stuff back in there. That's cool. 
there's the biggest working here at Tom Sick Butte. This is called the Hannert Mine, named after one of the two guys who discovered the ore here. This is definitely the biggest operation. Got their ore chute here. You can see their main portal up above it. There to the right. Big old waste dump. That's cool. Dump the ore down, fill that bin all up, and you back your truck under, open the gate, and load it. Inside of the ore bin, you see how they lined it all with metal to make it slick so the ore would slide. And up the bottom of the chute. I made it up on top of the chute, looking down. <laughs> and this is their portal, obviously walled up again, but where they would have brought their ore out and dumped it down into their bin. And you got the big portal over there. I think their main access was their portal that's actually up over this way that the road come up to. They could go in there and then connect through and bring their ore out over here. About as close as we can get to that big portal. Is, you can tell it's big. It really opens up in there. And looking back over at the chute, and there's actually another little portal right up in there that was walled up as well. Almost kind of looks like there might be a little dig clear up on there too. Just a little bit of waste rock dumped down. Now we're up on top of the main waste dump here at the Hannert Mine. Cross over this way. It's the ore chute and that other big portal. And right here is the other portal, presumably their main access since this is where the road comes to. And also looks like where they brought the, the uh, waste in and out of dumped the waste off over here and then brought the ore out the other tunnel to the chute. And one more little portal. Some cool timbers on that one. Sweet. Super cool mine. Now we're at the Hidden Splendor Mine. That's where the Muddy Creek goes down through the center of Fell Reef. And here we are, got a lovely piece of an old bulldozer that had been part of the lower chassis had your wheel that the front of the track would go around your guide wheel for the track up we go climb up climb the rest of the way up the old road here up to the it's called the delta mine here at hidden splendor got a plane coming in for landing here at the Hidden Splendor Airport. That is cool. He's coming straight in down the canyon. That is way cool. Now there's your main delta mine side up here. Completely buried now, not even by dogum. This has been naturally buried by rock and dirt coming off that cliff above it. Look at all this stuff that has broken off since they stopped working this. I imagine there's probably at least a couple portals into, the, in, into that cliff. I'd bet there's probably a big one like right there. Probably at least two along in here, I'll bet. 
Yep, we're taking back off again. Pretty decent sized portal, all walled up. A couple timbers still in place. That was a pretty decent opening. And remains of like an old wooden table and some kind of a metal table. And look, another walled up portal. One more old portal, it's all buried you can see all the timbering it was in place to support the roof on it you look at how sketchy that ground is above it's no wonder it needed a lot of support that would have been a pretty big portal probably big enough they could even drove a truck or something in and out of it here's the hidden splendor bunkhouse which is down the creek just a little bit from the mine remains of an old wardrobe Nice closet. <laughs> An old barrel stove hook. You don't need to go in there, buddy. Here, nails all over the place. There's your hinge. Oh, there's the shower room. <laughs> there's even where. <laughs> There's even an old drain pipe for like where probably like a sink or something would have been in the water supply line. And there's your shower stall. Look at that. Intact shower stall. Just uh, like the little water lines coming up and there's where sink would have been complete with the, even got the bracket that the sink would have hung on. Run a free hanging sink. Oh, back behind that roof over there, there's a kitchen sink. Where that roof caved in, there's a kitchen sink right behind it. <laughs> That's cool. Salt is rocking here. There's your kitchen sink. There's, there's where your toilet would have been. There's your drain pipe going down. A little stub up for your water supply line. Got more showers. Another bathroom area. Spot for two sinks right there. Two sinks and then two more showers. And then a little stove over here. <laughs> That's so cool. Remains of an extremely old car, upside down and everything. <laughs> That guy's been here a couple years. And one last to mine side. Oh, this one's even got ore cart rail. Look at that. Run out here on their dump. Some ore cart rails. Oh, they even got a switch. Look at that. You got what's, you know what's left of a switch for the ore carts where they could have switched them from one track to the other. That is cool to see. And on out to the end. There you dump your waste truck off. Very heavily timbered old mine opening. Very heavily timbered. 
probably pretty much naturally buried. Oh man. Look at that. This thing's collapsed. This overhang to where you can see back into that old thing. Some big old timbers and stuff back into there. Man, makes you, sure makes you wonder what's under there, but that would be really dumb to curl in it. <laughs>